This is how you're going to fit your sensation sensible harness. Good girl. So you're going to take the back strap, and the back strap is the one with the label. Okay, so it says sensation on it. And you're going to pop that over your dog's head, like so, whilst feeding a tasty treat. Okay? So you can see the back strap goes across Lottie's back, and then this ring sits in the middle of her chest. And this front strap should be reasonably loose. Okay? And then there's just one clip underneath. So we're just going to clip that there. And again, you will have done your conditioning to the clip noise, so your dog isn't worried about the clip noise. And as you can see, this sits quite loose. And then these side rings are going to sit... Are going to sit right up on her shoulders, okay? So once you've got a good fit, you can add a lead. I like to use a training lead, and a training lead has two clips, one on either end, okay? So you can make it six foot long, or you can just walk on a standard length. The important thing with this is that when you clip the lead to the front of the harness, good girl, that you clip it to the top of the ring, okay? So it's going to clip up to the top here, good girl, well done. And again, if you're going to do double clips, always on the top of the ring, okay? So now I'm ready to walk, hand through the loop and clips on the top of the ring if I want to walk on a standard lead. If I want to, I could take one of those clips off and clip it to a collar so that I'd have a little bit more control. And then I can also do what's called parking my dog. And to park my dog, I'm gonna need a slightly longer lead. So what I'm gonna do is create one big long lead like so, good girl, Lottie, what a good girl. And again, clipping to the top of the ring. I'm gonna clip the handle there. So I've got one big long lead. And then what I'm gonna do is let this end of the lead be slack and I'm gonna stand on that end and I'm gonna hold this end up against my belly and that end, you can see, is tense. So Lottie can't really go anywhere, okay? You can see there she's trying to see what goodies are on the table. If she wants to sit, good girl, she can. And what I'm gonna do is just park her here. You can see this is loose, so she can still move around, she can still walk, she can kind of move around a little bit, but she can't jump up. And that's important for greeting people. This end is tight and I'm anchored. So you see there, she can lie down quite comfortably. And this is a really nice behavior. So when our dog is in park and they're lying down and they're chilling out, we're talking to somebody else, what we're gonna do is offer a nice reward. Good girl for that excellent chilled out behavior. It's very important that we consider safety. So sensible shoes when parking our dog, tight lead here, loose lead at the front and right down to our foot, feet shoulder width apart and hand anchored against our belly with our hand through the loop of the lead and holding the body of the lead so that we're firmly anchored on the ground and it's a safe position for us and our dog. Good girl Lottie, excellent job. Well done, excellent. And then when you want to unpark your dog, you can just release the lead. You can put it back on a standard length if you have a training lead and then off you go.